petition and proclamation were read on the floor of the House and Senate. And I will start with the, with the governor's citation period. And it reads, State of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations, gubernatorial citation, Lincoln D. Chafee, Governor. Frank Iacono, Orchestra Concertmaster. Whereas Frank Iacono is a lifelong violinist and lover of music. And whereas Frank is an Air Force veteran of World War II. And whereas Frank is the concertmaster, violinist, and board member of the Providence Civic Orchestra of Senior Citizens. And whereas Frank serves as a longtime altar server at St. Agnes Church, Providence, Rhode Island. Whereas Frank loves to plant and cultivate a vegetable garden every year. Whereas Frank is celebrating his 100th birthday on June 21st, 2012. And now therefore, I, Lincoln D. Chafee, Governor of the State of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations, do hereby commemorate Frank Iacono and commend him for his lifetime of accomplishments, and on behalf of the people of Rhode Island, offer him best wishes for a very happy birthday and all the best in the future. Given under my hand and the great seal of the state of Rhode Island and province plantations this 14th day of June 2012. Lincoln, D. Chafee, Governor. proclamation and citation, uh, which was an identical resolution in both the House and the Senate. And it is my honor and privilege uh, to read this proclamation. And resolution, honoring Frank Iacono on the occasion of his 100th birthday. Whereas Frank Iacono was born 10, day, 10 decades ago on June 21st, 1912. That year, Woodrow Wilson defeated both Theodore Roosevelt and President Taft to become the 28th President of the United States. The infamous Titanic made her first and last voyage, and a loaf of bread cost only a nickel. <laughs> and whereas uh, a resident of Providence, Mr. Iacono, served our country with honor and pride as a member of the United States Air Force during World War II. And whereas with one century of living already under his belt, Mr. Iacono is still going strong. He continues to tend his garden, producing a cornucopia of vegetables each year. And whereas Mr. Iacono has an overall exuberance for life that is simply awe-inspiring, awe he is a lifelong lover of music, and a talented violinist. He is currently serving as the orchestra concertmaster for the Providence Civic Orchestra of Senior Citizens. He is an orchestra board member and has been a charter member of the orchestra since 1977. And whereas spiritually, Mr. Iacono is a longtime member of the congregation of St. Agnes Church in Providence, where he has and continues to perform the duties of altar service. And whereas, Mr. Iacona is a widely respected and beloved gentleman. He has had an impact on the lives of so many people with his wealth of knowledge, his joyous music, and his exuberance for life. And those who have been lucky enough to be part of his extraordinary life are proud to call him their friend. Now therefore, be it resolved that the House and Senate of the State of Rhode Island that we have gathered hereby to join family and friends of Frank Iacono in honoring him on the very special occasion of his 100th birthday. We applaud his myriad accomplishments, revel in his beautiful music, and wish him the very best health and happiness for many years to, call, to come. Signed, Speaker Gordon D. Fox, House of Representatives, and Teresa Pye, we Senate President.
next next two for you. Uh, a very beautiful song, uh, loved by so many. Uh, it has two titles. This one we do is London Dairy Ale, and it's also known as Candy Boy. In this song, we feature on trumpet, Mr. John Smith, on trombone, Mr. Len Murray, and on baritone saxophone, Judge Milton Silver. This is London Dairy Ale.